We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Hello my dear friends and students, myself Kinjal Patel, Assistant Professor in Civil Engineering Department from Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technical Education and Research Center, Navsari, Gujarat. Today I am going to explain urban form and structure. So first we will discuss what is urban form. The urban form is a spatial pattern of individual elements such as a building, street, park and other land uses as well as the social group and a public institution within an urban area are recognized are known as the urban form. In other words, urban form refer to the physical layout and design of the city and adjacent physical infrastructure. The function of urban transportation is to provide linkage between point of residence and employment beside facilitating glass scale industrial and commercial activities which lead to development of the urban area. Now you can see the figure of factor deciding urban form. The transportation affects the urban form and the geographical growth of the urban area. Uncontrolled growth due to increased urbanization without the benefit of planned expansion of housing, transport and other needed infrastructure has led to declining quality of life in many urban areas. Now next type of urban form. There are various types of urban form. First one is a finger type. Second one is a radial and circumferential type. Third is a linear type and last one is a grid type of urban form. Now you can see the figure 1 is a finger type urban form and figure 2 is a radial and circumferential type urban form. Now first discuss the finger type urban form. In this figure denote the formation of a major traffic corridor radially from CBD and intense development along this corridor and a wedges area between the radial corridors get filled gradually. Now next discuss the radial and circumferential type urban form. In radial and circumferential type urban form is a more suitable for Bosch operation as the routing can be flexible. The radial from the major arterials which can be served by rail or bus. The circumferential route can function as a feeder to the main radial arterials. Chennai is an example of radial and circumferential type of urban form. Now next, this is the figure 3 and 4 is a linear and a grid type of urban form. In linear type of urban form, in this figure show the main traffic corridor along the length with feeder route by bus. This type of urban form is also known as a ribbon development, characterized by concentration of development along both side major transportation route such as a road, navigable river, etc. Mumbai city is an example for this type of urban form. Now last one is the grid type of urban form. In grid type urban form usually four buses is developed in planet city in advanced countries. New York city is an example for this type of urban form. Example in India are Gandhinagar and Chandigarh. Now we will discuss urban structure. First of all, what is urban structure? The urban structure may be defined as a particular articulation or arrangement of adapted space 
or different type of land uses in an urban area in other word urban structure is the arrangement of land use in urban area or how the land use of a city is set out the urban structure reflect its character in a way in which population employment and other economic activities are distributed in an urban area now you can see the figure structure of an urban area in a regional setting in this figure the density of population is maximum near the center of central business district means cbd the density reduce as the distance from cbd increases in a rural area the density is minimum now next we will discuss the type of urban structure there are various type of urban structure our first one is centripetal type urban structure second one is a grid iron type urban structure and third one is a linear type urban structure now first centripetal type of urban structure this figure is the centripetal type of urban structure and we can see the figure in household concentrate first on the community center while a number of community center are directed toward the district center and this district center finally the district center focus on the regional center the important feature of this type of structure are household support area are rigidly defined it seem to be very rigid it does not easily accommodate change in the activity plan and transport network do not provide any flexibility now second is a grid iron type of urban structure this is the figure of grid iron type urban structure the cell of the grid iron type are formed by the primary road network in this figure the community and district center are placed within the cell household concentrate independently on the regional center and these regional center are located at the intersection of main grid and trip are easily accommodated example of this type of urban structure are in new york and chandigarh third one is a linear type urban structure this is the figure of linear type urban structure and we can see the figure in households concentrate on the community center non household serving employment are placed peripherally it is work out by combining mass transport and pedestrian uh, pedestrian skill it has limited road and commercially viable public transport the hong kong city is the example of a linear type of urban structure thank you